So let's talk about some more issues, and we're going to talk about escrow claims. These are claims that can be filed or have been filed or may be filed under the owner's policy, which obviously could cause delays and or problems down the road. So one of the, some of the most common ones are property boundary disputes. This involves two adjacent property owners making a claim on the same land, like fences is a very common one. Sometimes it arises from the prior owner subdivided a lot and due to an error, they just placed property illegally on another property <clears throat> or they just misfiled the actual uh, boundaries when they got recorded. So that's going to be a problem in the escrow because the legal address that maybe got recorded is not the legal address that was being bought or thought to be bought or, you know, they went out and looked at the property and hey, we're going to put an offer in it. And the neighbor goes, dude, I just wanted to let you know that fence is on my property. Now we've got a boundary issue. I haven't said anything to the current owner, but I, if you're going to buy it, I just want to tell you this now. Now, is that true or not? I don't know. It may cost a survey for somebody, and that survey is going to take time, which could, in essence, extend escrow, extend the closing date. So that's going to be an issue. Liens. Liens that are done like on real property, like a mechanics lien. Um, they have to make sure that those subcontractors, maybe they did get paid and they just never bothered to file the release. So they're going to have to go through that process of, hey, there's mechanics liens or subcontractor liens or builders liens. There could be actually code violations, all right? The health and hospital in the Indianapolis area uh, could have placed a code violation on the property, which is going to cause a problem. Uh, we just had a deal several months ago that had so many code violations, the house actually became uninsurable. The title company said, you know, we're not going to deal with all this. Um, so find another insurance company or solve these code violations. Public utilities could file liens. Uh, the water company is a big one that likes to file liens. So on top of the bank, you've got all these other liens that are potentially in there. Easements. Maybe there's easements on the property. Uh, an easement that maybe got recorded that has to know, and, all, and the buyer wasn't aware of this easement in, when he made the offer. Seller never told him. The title search found an easement that may cause issues with the current purchase agreement. Maybe the person doesn't want an easement on their property, so that could cause problems. Could be a third party easement, like an easement in gross from a utility company that has an interest in the property. Remember, Schedule B of the title policy would have that as the exemption. An exemption, this easement may be listed in the exemption. Hey, we're not insuring that portion so there cannot be a claim later down the road for that. To resolve these claims, they're going to have to figure out who actually has the interest and where does the interest lie, and they call this curing the problem. The curing the problem, obviously the biggest issue is time that's going to be involved. Well, maybe it's not the biggest issue because the, the cure might be, dude, that is not your land. That fence, you thought it went over to that tree. You thought the neighbor's fence was on your property. No, you're actually wrong. That fence is the boundary line. That may change the entire deal altogether. So <laughs> maybe <laughs> that easement's not the most important one. There could be a loss of value because of that. That third party's interest may cause a loss of value that may be something the buyer is unwilling to accept or agree to. So that could be an issue inside of escrow as well. Um, they search public records to get find the liens. Typically the seller will work to settle these and resolve any issue. The current owner is obviously the one that's got this problem, so to speak, because the buyer could literally go, hey, I'm not buying it. Um, 
and the seller may have to ultimately solve that issue before they can open another escrow for another sale. All right. Um, they have title company will help investigate to determine if that lien is actually valid or unenforceable. Um, Theoretically, if there is a claim down the road, that title company could be liable if it was not placed inside of that exception. If they insured the entire property and then later found there was a lien and it was not recorded, but the title company didn't place any of that inside of the exception section, there could be a problem there as well. There could be le uh, defects in the chain of title. Now these are less common than some of the stuff we've already talked about. Um, for instance, the prior owner appears to have claims on the deed for the property was forged. Maybe the current owner bought it from a forged deed. That's going to be problems. Uh, you see more of the authority to sell rather than an outright forgery. Now, has anybody here ever seen a forged deed? No, I, I have not. Uh, I have seen people sign without the proper authority that may have caused a problem down the road. That can be rectified by going back and, and doing some legal, and I'm not a practicing attorney, but that can be rectified where like a trustee signed and the document wasn't recorded that showed he had the power to sign. So there could be a potential issue where they're like, oh, well, that was owned by the Smith Trust, but David Johnson has signed it. Uh, I think that was a forgery. Well, actually, he was the trustee. We can go back in the court records, pull the trust documents, put those in place, and get that solved. So those are some more escrow issues that can be dealt with or will have to be dealt with um, as far as avoidance of those, really kind of hard to avoid those because you are just going to play with the hand you're dealt. If the seller is selling the property and he hasn't brought it to the attention of any governing authority that, hey, that current owner's on my property or there's an easement or I blocked the easement or I bought this at sheriff sale, that's really not going to come to light until the current sale that's going on and now the underwriter is going to go, dude, found a problem that we got to solve and hopefully we can solve it and it's going to be, have to be solved in a timely manner or this deal could fall through. So it's really hard to avoid any of these last couple issues because they are inherent to the property and eventually that seller will have to deal with that problem when he goes to sell or Lord forbid he dies and leaves it to an estate and now you've got double compounding issues of people that you know are inheriting it are dealing with issues that may never have lived there and don't know so yeah I don't want to get into all that but uh, that are those last couple few are some of the more exotic things that you will see all right